Earlier this month, Chatham was visited by two grannies on the road, a public access TV show based out of Plymouth. We met up with the grannies at Hangar B at the Chatham Airport to learn more about their unique travel show. I'm Beth. I'm Marcia. And we're two, two grannies, grannies on the road. road. So how we started, that would be me, and it was about 2010, and I had been in business for myself uh, for about eight years a web, as a web designer, and I was single, and my youngest son was graduating from college. So I was kind of feeling like... Um, Geez, you know, I never got to travel across the country with my kids in an RV like I wanted to. And, you know, poor me, I haven't had a vacation in eight years. And then I thought, well, wait a minute, I have a job that I could do from anywhere. And so maybe I could find a way to travel and work at the same time. And I thought, well, I wouldn't want to do it alone. You know, who could I do it with? And I thought of a friend of mine who was also a grandmother and had a, her own graphic design business so she could work from the road. And then the name came to me, Two Grannies on the Road. And so it evolved into um, a community TV show where we first we were interviewing baby boomers who had reinvented themselves and telling their stories to inspire other baby boomers to live their dreams because it's really never too late. And so we did that for a while, and part of the show was always uh, a travel, you know, it was always a travel segment where we would go somewhere and, uh, you know, see the town a little bit and have lunch and, and whatever. And then it kept evolving, and uh, Ginny um, retired. And then I had an, another, a second, second granny that I worked with, and she retired and moved to Florida. And uh, so then a few months after that, I met Marsha, and she's the third, second granny. And I know she has something to say about that. Yeah, yes. go ahead. You know, she talks about these other two women. I've never met them. But she told me I could check her freezer. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, so it was actually it was 2019 when I said to um, the second segment, Granny, hey, let's visit every city and town in Massachusetts. And she said, great. So we started um, doing that. And, you know, COVID shut things down for a little while. But then when Marsha came on board, we picked up. And tell us what you do, Marsha. I'm the one. Um, that gets to organize the days, because we usually try to spend a full day at a town. And I go on Facebook and find a forum um, about the town and ask the community where we should go. So when the community says we need to go to the hangar restaurant, that's where we go. And I usually get about 160, 160, and when you keep repeating the same thing over and over and over again, it makes a decision. I then always co contact the historic society. Somebody usually tells us we need to go there anyway. Beth gets to do the hard part as far as I'm concerned, and you noticed I'm not volunteering to do it, and she edits the whole show, which takes an awful lot. Yeah, so, yeah, that's it in a, in a nutshell. We're having a blast. We are um, trying to demonstrate to people that it's never too late you know, to pursue your dreams, and we're pursuing our dreams of traveling. It's, you know what? Traveling, it, when your own state is still traveling, and you can go a half hour away and still find lots of adventures and fun and new things and meet great people, and we're having a blast doing it, and we're kind of ambassadors for tourism in Massachusetts, don't we, you think? We are, and we also do, we have like three things. We visit each town, but we also do events. We went to a sheep shearing festival, and I've never seen that before. Boy, that was really interesting this past weekend, and we're going to go to an asparagus festival. I've never done that either, so we do events, and we speak at different um, senior centers and libraries, et cetera. So we feel pretty fortunate to be able to do all those things. And Mass has everything except a desert. It's got ocean, hilltop, hilltops, hill, hills, mountains, and of course the ocean. It's got farms and fields, it's, it's got everything. Get out there and travel in Massachusetts. Start in Chatham and work your way north and west. Aren't you glad you asked? <laughs>